If you've ever wanted to make a video with 3D text and be able to fly through it, then this video is for you. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our footage and we're going to drag it over this to create a new composition. Now that we have the new composition, I'm going to scrub through the footage until I find kind of where I want this to start, which is about right there. So I'm gonna click on the work area, start, and I'm gonna right click on this with the two little arrows and hit trim, comp to work area. That's gonna trim down that footage. And then I'm gonna scrub through a little bit further and I'm gonna end it about right there. Then I'm gonna click on end work area and I could actually just leave it like that, but I like right clicking on it and trimming the comp to work area so that I'm working within that area in this composition. So now that I have that set up, there's a couple other things to be aware as you're doing 3D text. In case you don't know this already, you need to go to composition settings and you need to make sure that your 3D render is renderer is for Cinema 4D. It needs to be on there because if you don't have it in Cinema 4D, you will not be able to do the geometry options which lets you extrude the text. Next thing is you can have this in quality mode, the 4D render option. If you're just doing it for the tutorial like I am, then keep it at draft. But if you want high quality, then make sure when you're done, you know, have it somewhere up here in the higher area. But for this tutorial, I'm just keeping this all like that. Go ahead and hit OK. And now I'm going to my tracker panel and I'm going to track the camera. This will take a few minutes depending on how long the clip is. And if you're doing it in 4K or higher, if you're doing HD, it shouldn't take too long depending on your, your processor. Um, I'll check back as soon as it is done. Mine will be done in about 30, 40 seconds. Also, if you want to know how long it takes, you can look up here and it'll give you a percentage and the frames that it's done. So it's 99%. Now it's done, it's going to solve the camera. Once the camera is solved, it's going to give us a bunch of little tracker points. These tracker points is what we're going to use to fix our text into this 3D space. So now what I'm doing is I'm gonna find an area that I like that looks flat for this text. And this actually looks pretty good, so I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see it a little bit better. But there was a spot right here that looks pretty flat. So I'm gonna right click, create text and camera, and that will now create my text and camera. So I'm gonna go on to the text so you can see it and I'm gonna double click it. It'll bring up my properties and I'm gonna hit the fill and go with like some kind of blue. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust the location, the rotation and all of that. So I wanna make sure that in here, I'm gonna start messing with the position a little bit, bring it up just a little. So I'm kind of working with it right here, but eventually I'm gonna come over to this area and work on the orientation. And I'm gonna also make sure that I'm flipping it up. And then I'm also gonna mess with the rotation. That looks all right. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up just so we can see it a little bit more. We'll bring it up into the air here. So now if we are to, and you can hit this little draft 3D, it will let you preview a lot faster than rendering. So as you can see, I've already got a pretty cool effect. So now what I'm gonna do is, obviously I'm not gonna have it say text, so I'm gonna change that to NYC, go back to my selection tool, and we'll mess with it again. And I'm gonna fly right through that V spot right here. So I'm kind of adjusting this as I'm going for the fly through. That's cool. Okay, so now I've got my fly through. That kind of takes a while, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it down just for the tutorial's sake. It takes too long, but that looks pretty good. And you can do some speed ramping, some other stuff, but you do have to pre-compose it. Okay, so now if you remember, we actually can do geometry options and we're gonna push this out a little bit. 
And now that it's in 3D space, you can see that it's kind of angled the wrong way. But we're going to go ahead and add a couple lights. In order to add lighting, we're going to do new light. I'm going to go ahead and call it spotlight one, actually ambient. And we'll make it an ambient light. Go ahead and hit OK. Then we're going to right click again, new light. And we're going to change this to a spotlight. Go ahead and hit OK. And now we have our spotlight and our ambient light. We're going to go ahead and look at the positioning. And I don't know where it's at. It's way out there. So we're going to do 100 and see if we can find it. And that didn't help. So let's make it a little bigger. There it is. So what you need to see is you need to see this right here. And if you're not seeing this, you have to adjust this in Z space to find out where it's at. Then what you can do is rotate it around to get it to the right positioning because it's a, like a spotlight. So see, it's not right where it should be. Okay, so now that I've got my spotlight, I'm going to move it kind of into this corner like that. Maybe push it over a little bit more. Kind of like that. That looks good. And maybe we'll bring it in a little closer. So let's bring this in. That looks pretty good. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust the light and have it the percentage down just a little so that I can keep this blue and I'm going to do about 40%, 41%. That looks pretty good. I'm going to hit this draft button and I'm going to preview it. See how it looks. And that looks pretty cool. The other thing that we can do now is we can also go into the text and go down to geometry options and we can bevel this. So I'm going to do a convex kind of makes it like on the outside and I'm going to drop it way down to like 0.3 and now when I play through it you can see there is a text that you can fly through and you can pretty much move it anywhere you want and you could change the color so let's say maybe I wanted it white and change it to white there you go guys it's Pretty simple to do, lots of fun, and you can make some pretty cool effects. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, comment below and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks.